What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of UA Sneaker Chronicles. In today's episode we have the Air Jordan 6 Georgetown aka Flint Gray. So Jordan brand decided to go with the retro graphics box. Very high quality um, sturdy box. Okay so we have an Air Jordan 6 retro. Colorway is Magnet College Navy and we did pick this up in a size 12. MSRP $200. Again, very sturdy box, man. Nice quality on it. Uh, you have your black, black and white paper in it. And then you have your shoes. All right, guys. So here you have it, man. Air Jordan Six in Georgetown's uh, set to release September third, I believe. Um, but again, this is a UA pair. We got early in hand, just to check out the quality and uh, materials of it. So you guys will know um, what to look out for once you get your retail pair. When I first seen leaked photos of this shoe, um, it was a must cop for me. I was um, really digging the colorway. Um, and in my opinion, I think this is um, the best Air Jordan 6 that will release this year. We had the UNC 6s, which I have um, down in the blue box. And um, I will have a video with the UNC 6s versus these Georgetown 6s. And um, just seeing how they stack up against each other. So stay tuned to the channel um, to see that, that review coming soon. But for me, I think these 6s is the best to release um, this year. So let's go ahead and start from top to bottom. Your sock liner is also in that uh, magnet gray. It is uh, fuzzy fuzzy type material on it and moving to the tongue you also have that uh, magnet gray air jordan um, rubber tongue moving down you have your um, college navy uh, lace lock and here's a look at the lace shield um, also in that magnet gray and college navy jump man um, the shoe comes with only one set of laces and that's the laces that's um, laced up and those also are magnet gray. So let's take a look at the materials on the uppers. Um, basically the whole upper section of the shoe is made up of a medium hair suede um, throughout the whole upper of the shoe. I think the quality of the suede is, is decent. Um, it's not the softest, it's a very coarse suede, but you do get some kind of motion in the suede while brushing it. Uh, let's see if I can get some to pick up for you on camera. Um, not too much motion in it, um, just a little bit, but it but it is a coarse suede. Um, moving down to your mid, so you do have that magnet gray um, with a mix of the college navy blue. Moving down to your icy blue outsole. And I think it is the favorite part of the shoe for me that that icy blue um, outsole is just pops with that uh, college navy blue. And overall, in my opinion, um, the colorway just it um, contrasts very well together. Um, moving to the outsole, you have that uh, magnet gray mixed with the na college navy blue and that icy um, outsole. Very dope. Moving to the medial side of the shoe. Same throughout. And I will say um, that you do have 3M, uh, reflective 3M material underneath these panels. Uh, this panel right here in the upper ankle support, you have 3M under that. As well on the lateral side of the shoe, you have, yeah, um, 3M reflective material inside this panel and ankle collar. All right, so we're going to take a quick look at my other shoe. Um, quality is uh, very good on this shoe. I really didn't see uh, any flaws on it, man. To be honest with you, I didn't see any flaws on this shoe. Yeah, I think the stitching, uh, paint work looks good. Um, these panels do line up perfectly. Let's take a look at the medial side. Um, this panel here lines up perfectly on both shoes. Um, take a quick look at this shoe. You can see both of uh, those panels line up well. I do see um, in some UA shoes that um, this cut here pushes further this way and um, that's kind of incorrect. 
versus the retail is um, cut exactly like this right here. It should ride right into this section. As well as this cut is perfect to uh, retail. Um, so I think that they did a good job on the stitch work and uh, lining the panels up correctly. And I'll go into further detail about this, what I'm talking about when I do a video on um, these Georgetown 6s against uh, my UNC 6. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about, the difference between this shoe and um, the UNC 6. I think this UA pair that I got um, is probably the closest retail you're going to get. Uh, let's take a quick look at this toe box. I think the toe box is correct. Um, I know some 6s, uh, UA 6s, they kind of bubble out taller i think they got the toe box on this one perfect so taking a quick look at the shoe tree um this might be a flaw because um, it has 10 to 10 and a half um this shoe is a 12 so i guess that's somewhat of a flaw but who's counting the shoe trees taking a look at the insole you have that college navy blue and um you have that gray jump man see if i can get the tag for you um if you can see that Manufacturing date is 11 17 21 to 2 14 22. And of course, we got this in the size 12. Here's that sock liner I was talking about earlier. See how it's kind of fuzzy? Um, that is true to the retail pair um, that we're seeing on online. So I think they did a good job on that also. But yeah, like I was saying, I think this uh, UA pair is pretty much immaculate. Um, and the closest you're gonna get to a retail pair. This set to release um, this September 3rd. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with this pair of uh, shoes. Take one last look at it. Um, you have that magnet gray um, spoiler on the back with your navy blue hits in it. Yeah, very dope pair, man. Um, and again, I think this is the best um, Air Jordan 6 that we'll release this year. Um, over top of the UNC 6s, the Navy 6s, the, the Oreo Red 6s. Um, yeah, I think this one's it. But like I was saying earlier in the video, stay tuned to the channel because I will be doing a, a video of this Georgetown 6 versus the UNC 6. Um, since I didn't get a chance to do a review on that um, UNC6, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a versus with this Georgetown. So go ahead and hit that like, um, subscribe, and stay tuned to the channel. That video should be coming soon. Till the next time, peace.